had to hop on the live. Let's see, that's Celsius. Inside this uh, refrigerated container. And I just wanted to hop on real quick and talk a little bit about cold storage. Cold storage is a must for any farm. And I first got introduced the importance of cold storage when I went to a special workshop and um, the gentleman's name was Chris Blanchard. So if you remember Chris Blanchard, let me know in the comment section, leave a comment or a thumbs up. But this workshop was put on by Cultivate Kansas City. So perhaps someone from uh, Cultivate will hop on and uh, talk about this great workshop that Chris Blanchard did. And what he, what he uh, was was an agricultural consultant. And actually, he um, had a farm at one time, but um, he was just a consultant. And he had a podcast called the Farmer to Farmer Podcast, where he went and he interviewed um, well over a hundred different farmers, and uh, really got to break down um, farming and cold chains and just anything you've ever wanted to know um, about being a farmer. So that podcast is still up, Farmer to Farmer Podcast. And uh, he passed away a couple of years ago, but um, left us a, a huge series of podcasts really before his time and a whole bunch of uh, also a literature, basically. And so here I am in this, uh, this um, refrigerated container. And uh, so important to have your product um, at the proper temperature. And so different things. Um, are at different, there are at different temperatures. A lot of the herbs and stuff, I, I tend to keep those around 36, around 36 degrees or so. Um, and so you have to really be very careful because you don't want your product to get out of, um, out of that cold zone and into the, what they call the danger zone because that is where bacteria breathe. I'm sure you probably remember when you were in high school and you had the petri dish and you put, um, you put a sample of the bacteria on the dish and you left it outside in, in, um, or you just left it uh, in, its na in the natural habitat for a couple of days and, um, and ha you notice how fast that bacteria multiplied when it's um, not in a cold environment. And so the same thing here, and, uh, so when it comes out of the field, what we do is we like to get the temperature down on it and uh, keep, it, keep it cold and um, all the way actually until you get it. And that is very important. Right, so. Um, just wanted to drop, drop on real quick and talk a little bit about cold storage solutions here. And a very important, um, that's probably one of the most um, maybe misunderstood things when it comes to farming. A lot of people don't put a lot of money, a lot of thought, and a lot of time into that. But um, definitely, you want to be thinking about that cold storage. I'm sure you probably remember where you're farming operation. Don't forget to stop by our world famous YouTube farm, you Ophelia's Blue Vines like Farm on YouTube. We have Terrier over 380 the videos, dish. all dedicated in, to urban um, farming. True urban farming videos teaching you how to thrive, survive, and, stay out of the hive, become self sufficient. Tell a friend, go check it out right now. Ophelia's Blue Vine Farm on YouTube. That's Ophelia's so Blue Vine Farm on YouTube. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.